Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Soraya. Today I wanna to talk about twin flame eye contact, which is such a powerful thing, such a simple thing, but such a powerful thing on the twin flame journey. I wanna talk about the healing power of eye contact with your twin flame, the profound impact of it, what, what it's about, what is that thing that happens when you lock eyes with your twin flame. This to me is a really precious topic because this was really like, I, it just takes me back to the first night that I went out with my twin and we were talking, I think we were there for like hours. Um, and uh, we were like hanging out at this restaurant and I just remember just looking into his eyes and I just, I was like, I've never, <laughs> never in my life. It was like, they just were like piercing for me. Um, I, it was like he was just connecting with me on a level that I had never been connected with. Um, and it was really, uh, it, it really has a way of waking you up, uh, to put it, to put it lightly. Um, but twin flame eye contact, what is that? What is that thing that happens when you look into your twin flame's eyes? There's something really powerful about looking into someone's eyes. There is a there's a depth. It's 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 beyond just you know noticing how their eyes look. It's a there's a resonance there, and you can really get a feel for someone. They really are like the window to the soul, so to speak. And twin flames are no different, but they are different in the sense that that is you, and you guys share one consciousness. So when you're looking into their eyes, what the, the level that they're resonating on is at the core of who you are. It's your soul that you're essentially looking in, like there's that kind of, like you're looking into your soul, essentially. And that's why your twin flame looking into your eyes can really hit you in that really deep place. And there's just that like deep, deep resonance. And it's just so different than anyone else that you connect with in that way. You know, you may really love a family member and, you know, make eye contact with that family member and there could be a lot of love there, a lot of care, a lot of familiarity, a sense of safety and good feelings, positive feelings when you make eye contact with that person. But with your twin flame, it's like all of the like defenses, so to speak, are gone every kind of pretense, every kind of, you know, any kind of surface thing, just everything falls away. And it's like, you are being seen in your soul and being really connected with in that place that uh, no one else, you know, can really, can really give you that experience <laughs> in that way um, that you share with your twin. It's a very special thing. Uh, and so what is the purpose of twin flame, you know, eye contact and the, uh, you know, like looking into the soul, <laughs> so to speak, uh, feeling and experience that happens when you share that with your twin. The purpose is healing. The purpose is the resonance. The purpose is to really bring you to that place to remind you that there's a greater love and that there's more going on and that you are loved. You know, that is a reflection of you and your love and connection with yourself that you're experiencing and sharing with your twin flame. Now, one thing I wanna point out is your twin flame didn't give you that love from outside of you. They're reflecting to you the love that you actually feel for yourself, the resonance that you feel with your own self, with your own soul. You are completely intimate with your own self. And so when you're with your twin flame, they reflect that and it's like an amplifier. That's what Jeff and Shalia teach in Twin Flame Ascension School. Your twin flame amplifies what you're experiencing within you. And so that's just one of those beautiful things about twins. It's just a very, very special thing. It's very healing. It's very grounding. It has a way of humbling you. It has a way of really, like I said, waking you up, showing you that there's, there's more going on <laughs> than how things appear on the surface. I think something that's really beautiful about twins is that your twin flame sees you completely. Like they just, they know you on that deep soul level. And so it, it has this way of just really hitting you in that very vulnerable place in your soul, but not in a way of like, you know, it, it not being loving, but just 
like I said, that resonance and that deep level of your soul. And so uh, it's just a beautiful thing. It's uh, very healing. Another thing that can come up is it can actually be really triggering and really uncomfortable to make eye contact with your twin. I've definitely gone through that for myself at times. Um, I've seen clients go through that where it's like, sometimes you'll even feel awkward around your twin. It's not because that's how you were created and that that's normal for twin flames. It's, it's not that, it's just that there's upsets that actually can come up because there's so much intimacy, because there's so much vulnerability, because that is literally you uh, manifested in front of you and that you're connecting with in that way, um, that it can be triggering. If you don't feel completely safe connecting in general within yourself, then you're gonna feel a bit uncomfortable connecting with your twin flame and connecting in terms of eye contact is so intimate that you might find that you try to look away from your twin or look down or you try to kind of avoid um, connecting with them in that way because either you don't wanna be seen or you don't want to feel that kind of connection. Um, it can feel uh, nerve, like you can feel nervous about it and so um, if that comes up, it, there's nothing like wrong with you. I want to just point this out because as beautiful as that part of Twin Flames is, um, there can also be upsets there. So uh, it doesn't mean that anything's wrong or that you can't have that beautiful experience with your twin, that deep peace and, and that experience of that resonance and, and feeling comfortable being with your twin in that way. Uh, it just means that right now there's some upsets there that can be worked through with the mirror exercise. And that's what I help people with is doing the mirror exercise, healing things like that, identifying the places that, you know, there's blocks in your union that are preventing you from having the re relationship, the romance, the connection, the intimacy, the friendship, the partnership that you desire to have with your twin. And so, you know, definitely, you know, check out the resources beneath this video, 100% check out the mirror exercise. If that's all you do, start doing the mirror exercise because that's the only tool you need to heal separation. Um, but if you want some support moving through, especially when we're talking about vulnerability and intimacy stuff, um, that's something that I would be more than happy to help you with. It, it's really important to work with someone who you feel safe with. Um, who can help you kind of navigate and heal those really sensitive places in your heart. So yeah, that's the purpose of eye, eye gazing or eye connection um, with twin flames and that beautiful feeling that you feel. That's what that is and that's why it's there. And uh, yeah, it can be a very healing thing. I mean, just to even just like sit and just look into your twin flames eyes for a period of time alone can be very healing. Um, and, and deeply intimate and um, a beautiful thing. It's, you're essentially, your, tw your relationship with your twin flame is a manifestation of your relationship with God. And so it's that divine love that you're sharing with them. You're experiencing it within you, but you're sharing it with them. And that's why it's so intimate and that's why it's so powerful and so healing is because not only are you being seen, but you are being profoundly and perfectly loved as well. So that is what that is all about. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please do like this video, share it, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.